One of my all-time favorite ways to add character to a new house is interior brick. Hi, my name's Ariel. I'm a home builder and I'm a single mom building my own house. I do contract out 98% of the work, but I have applied thin brick pavers before and so I'm doing this project myself. With a little help, of course. My dad has laid quite a bit of brick and so he came to get me started on the project and help me remember all the steps. Because it's been a few years since I did this. The area we're working in is my entryway. I have a double front door that has a beautiful arch and I just wanted this space to be gorgeous and timeless looking. Also, this isn't a high traffic area in our house since it's not where me and my family will enter most of the time. I thought it would be the perfect place to do something pretty like this. Before we started with wall and floor thin set, I laid out all the bricks and decided on the pattern. And I decided to go with this border of all the bricks straight before starting a herringbone pattern. This part's a little bit tricky, okay? Especially when you start having to cut the bricks. But that's why I use my handy dandy little blue triangle to make sure I stay at a 45 degree angle the whole time. Also, I'm just going to give you a disclaimer and say that I'm not going to teach you how to use a saw with a diamond blade. Please watch some safety and instructional videos and get a professional or someone who's comfortable using a saw to help you. Cutting the bricks is by far, I think, the hardest part of this project, aside from, you know, trying to stand up after being on your knees and bending over all day long. Once we finally got all the bricks down, we're ready for grout. This was day three of this project and I'm already exhausted, so I was so glad that Justin spent all three of his days off work helping me do this. Honestly, ladies, do not settle for a man unless he's willing to spend his days off doing your fun DIY projects with you. Also, I want to let y'all know that the cheapest place to get brick pavers is actually from your local brickyard. Not only will you get to choose from every color brick they have in stock, they will cut it for you right there at the yard and deliver it to your doorstep. I paid $6 a square foot, which is half the price you can get it from any tile shop. So because I'm obsessed with brick, I'm doing it in my entryway floor, but I'm also doing it on my kitchen backsplash. And this was my inspo picture for this project. Try to get this vintage antique whatever you want to call it look I kind of had to go a little mixed media art project on it. Dustin went in with the grout with the rubber pad and I went behind him with a wet sponge and a dry towel. Took a little bit of finagling, but I finally got the pattern down. And then when we were finished, we finally went in with the grout sealer. I need to come back and see it after we get baseboards and our transition pieces for the wood. This turned out so much better than I could have ever expected. I can't wait to do it in the kitchen.